Hey guys, Rob out here, and I'm always at hotwater.com. Rocking the GoPro and also the Canon today because this Canon keeps jumping out on me. And we're out here in sunny Bluffton uh, with something pretty special um, and, and a rare find. We have a 1983 Sal Wester, um, you know, made by Parker uh, before Parker became Parker, uh, one of Linwood Parker's designs. And, um, you know, what makes this boat a little more rare. Uh, than most is most of these vessels that you'll find out there on the market are actually have been um, you know, repowered or geared up with outboards uh, and this is actually a diesel inboard um, you know we got prop and rudder uh, pictures of the engine and all of those things will be up on the site what we want to do is just give you a quick walk around and explanation of the boat to show you how pretty she is uh, solid all the way through uh, keep in mind please don't take our word for it uh, you know get the boat surveyed uh, at, le at your leisure and also um, you know we can have her ready for the water uh, with advance notice and um, obviously because we are not on the proper trailer to get her to the water as she's been worked on um, and kept up and cleaned up in this area uh, just a quick look uh, trim tabs on the back working trim tabs and also a custom and I sorry this is gonna get in the way of the GoPro uh, fiberglass swim platform uh, custom built for this vessel this vessel, as we get in also, uh, you guys can see the Kusaw Tower uh, was installed in 2009, as well as the gel coat uh, was redone on the vessel in 2009 as well. This vessel has been a labor of love, um, and you guys can see just by how clean and how neat she is. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick pop up into the vessel as soon as I kind of get that ladder over and um, work my way in. Hopefully I won't kill myself doing it. Uh, just so you can see um, up on the site, uh, pictures. Um, in addition, we have the prop and the rudder, uh, cushions for the uh, forward center console area, and also um, GPS map 3210 uh, with the vessel. Now, just so you guys know, uh, this vessel originally uh, had a 160 horsepower uh, diesel in it. And uh, now she's powered by 200 diesel, 200 blah, 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 horsepower diesel. And when in fact that was done, no one knows. Um, you know, this, this boat has been passed down from generation to generation, so it is what it is. Now, I've been through the vessel, I've stomped and plumped. The deck is solid. You guys can see all the gel coat work done, was done. You can see even the fittings. I mean, just every fitting in here is beautiful as you go all the way through right down to the right down to the diesel caps hopefully you guys can see that on the GoPro take a look at the Kusaw tower professionally installed and as we work our way through you guys can see the woodwork's been extremely well kept up um, you know as we get into the helm and we take a look at the control panel now this is obviously a non-entity uh, this is an old dinosaur uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're going to call it a non-working function, uh, but it does come with a uh, Garmin 3210. And just so you guys can see what I'm looking at through the whole vessel, I just want to show you guys what's going on here uh, as far as the technical aspects. Now, we all know the powering of the vessels up underneath here. I'm not going to be able to lift that myself. That's the whole reason, in case you guys want to know the line, it's an assist for lifting to kind of keep it up if you're by yourself and as you guys take a walk through as you can see here uh, this woodwork here is an easy quick fix so you're good there I mean to kind of finish off the boat um, we have the cushions for there and just so you guys can see and get a whole look of how pretty this is I do want to pop up on this Kusaw just to show you uh, you know spotlight works uh, right here, as you guys can see, this is actually, uh, there was a Raytheon or a, um, I can't, an open array up here years ago. This is just cosmetic where the plywood was uh, glassed over. Um, there's no uh, structural issues uh, with this tower. And if I can just kind of bounce back down, just so you guys can see just a real, real pretty 1983. Um, you know, with bilge pumps, uh, direct drive. Now, uh, a trailer will be coming 
uh, to uh, make this uh, trailable to the water, which is about five minutes from here for sea trial. Sea trial is obviously available when a vessel is under contract. Um, you know, just saying, I want you guys to see. You guys can see all the fittings. It's, everything has just been kept up. In fact, this thing for two years um, was just run inside uh, just as the work was being done on it uh, to keep it up and keep it pretty. So anyway, Rob out here and I'm always at hotwater.com with something a little different today. A 1983 Sal Wester inboard 200. The specs will be up on the site and this may be a boat that I think would be a great little uh, addition to somebody's fleet or just go out shrimping or fishing or whatever it is you want to do. So anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com hoping this gives you a real good look at this 1983 Sal Wester. And you guys, while wow, that cushion, that's in great shape. You guys have a great and safe